Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is going to be the start of a new series in which I explore some of the smaller easter eggs in Call of Duty Zombies, and eventually, I want to run through all of them. The reason for that is that I'm very aware that not all of you have been around since the story began with maps like Verrucht and Shinonuma in 2008 and 9. It's been a long time since the story had its humble beginnings. And if you look at the first week sales actually as well, you can see that increase in numbers. It's a big jump up as the years have gone on. And as such, I'm sure that there are people out there in the community that aren't so familiar with some of the cooler, older easter eggs in the maps. And so today we're going to be looking at one of those easter eggs and in the coming days and weeks and months, we'll be looking at more of them to eventually build up a kind of library of all of the small, cool little easter eggs in COD Zombies. That's the idea. That's the plan, at least, for now. So, before I jump into the video, which I actually recorded a couple of months ago, and I just haven't had time to edit and upload just yet, finally getting around to it now, I want to really quickly say that we're super close to the end of the t-shirts campaign now. There are only six hours left, so if you want to buy one of the shirts, now is your chance. Okay, here's the video. We're going to start things off with an egg that I feel like went under a lot of radars during Black Ops 1, and the reason for that is that when Moon came out, Moon was the final Zombies map, or rather it was one of the final Zombies maps because the Moon map pack was Resurrection, which contained Moon itself, but then the remastered Black Ops 1 maps. If you guys remember or were around during Black Ops 1, those maps were available in the hardened and prestige editions of the game, but you also got them in that final map pack as well if you didn't previously own them. So I personally already had access to those maps, but everybody else got them as well. Now in Moon, there's this grand easter egg with you swapping souls with Samantha in the MPD, the Moon Pyramid device. In fact, you actually blow up the Earth during that easter egg as well, and it's a hugely important easter egg for the story. It's massively impactful. And that's not a pun with rockets hitting Earth and it being an impact there. That's not what I mean. Anyway, I feel like this Easter egg went under a lot of radars because people were so focused on that main quest that they didn't necessarily spend as much time looking around for some of the other smaller Easter eggs that were a little less exciting. So today, I'm going to be playing for you the 8-bit version of Paradoilia that you can hear. And again, I always forget if that's the correct pronunciation of that word or not. It's probably not. Paradoilia. Paradoilia? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to go with it. The 8-bit version of Paradoilia, which was the Shangri-La Easter Egg song and the Death song for the previous maps as well. It's accessible if you've turned the power on only, so make sure you turn the power on if you want to do this Easter Egg yourself in-game, and then you just run over to this little sort of computer generator or server or whatever it is here on the side of the room next to Double Tap, or rather opposite Double Tap. You hold Activate and you'll hear the song. So I'm going to play it for you now while you are listening why not leave a like on the video, that would be really great, and then afterwards I'll talk a little bit about the future of these sorts of vids.
Okay, so there we go. It's a pretty damn quick Easter egg by all means. It's not a really long song or anything along those lines. At the beginning, you hear a file called Tiny Loop. That's what it's referred to in the game files. And then you hear the 8-bit version of the song itself. There are actually two more 8-bit songs on the map. And the first time I recorded this, I didn't even realize they were there. I was about to make the video public and then I was like, hold on, there's more. <laughs> so the next one we're going to listen to is Damned. The file name is Redamned, as you can see on the screen right now and then after that we'll play the 8-bit version of coming home which is also accessible in the map and that file is called new chorus 8-bit so we'll play them now That was damned. Now we're going to go downstairs and it's the room that is, I guess, two doors on from the M14 just before you get to power. That's where you can activate the new chorus or as it really is coming home. in the comments guys if you have any ideas for future easter eggs that i can cover in this series i'll ask you this pretty much each episode and then i'll pick the next easter egg from the comments so definitely leave a comment if you've got anything burning that you want answered and shown in a video and maybe explained as well if there's anything particularly interesting in these videos then i'll try and do a bit of explanation too to give you an idea of the context of the egg in terms of the story and the mode in general fingers crossed you've enjoyed this quick little video from me i'm going to try and keep the length of these videos fairly low as well so i'm not going to give you analysis paralysis and bomb bombard you with information by any means, it's just going to be a quick, snappy look at the easter eggs in Call of Duty Zombies. So thank you so much for watching, again leave a like if you haven't done so already, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles and I'll see you next time, bye bye.